If you've played Fallout 4, you know Preston Garvey. You know, the guy who thinks you're the general, but treats you like his personal errand runner. Yeah, that guy. You'll be hearing this amalgamation of words, even in your dreams. Today, we are flipping the script. Yo, dude, dude, this is Ketsu. And this is how Preston Garvey saves the Commonwealth. The rules are dead simple. I'm not allowed to attack anything myself, and I will make Preston do all of the dirty work as soon as I get him. It's time he sees what doing all the heavy lifting is like. I'll be attempting to make my character as true to life as possible. Time to. Get swole. Again, don't be fooled though. The sliders can't reach far enough to make it really me. I was having the weirdest dream. I was a mother of all things. Now I know you're a busy woman. So Excuse me, busy, beautiful woman. In my nightmare, I decided what makes me special. Strength 3 or armor. Perception is going to stay at 1. I'm not licking or sniffing my way through the wasteland. Thanks. E is for endurance. One point. Might invest into toughness if feeling cute. Charisma. Ranking that sucker up to 9. So I'll have an easier time of not doing anything myself. Charisma is also going to give me a discount on steam packs. I will be, no doubt, jamming toes into Preston's neck while he's on his butt, thinking about the choices that led him into this predicament. Intelligence 9. Gotta have those high tier mods and a bigger slice of that experience points pie. Agility 4 for sneak. And luck is going to be a solid one. Like any other morning, I wake up, up, up to Kellogg's face eyeing me up like a corny rooster, as is tradition. <laughs> knock knock, who's there? Stupid face! And then got up from my snug pod. Everyone else in the sleeping cage section of the vault had tragically passed away, so I did what anyone would do in this situation, and stole all of the wedding rings. I ran through the vault, looting everything, while red roaches tailed me, munching on my heels. I kept closing the doors behind me, wrapping them on the other side, taking care of the lot of limbs freaks situation. Oh no. I stole a watch from a corpse and finished myself out of the ward into the wasteland. Upon touching sanctuary grounds, I talked to the floating experience and exposition dispenser, studied your special book to Luke's Max, and I began unbuilding anything and everything in sight within the green contours boundary with my butt control gear in tow. It didn't take me long to get bored and abandon the idea. After stashing most of sanctuary into the workbench, Yeah, this is my best dress. I was off to the Museum of Freedom to get Preston. In Concord, I sat back and waited for Preston to deal with the riffraff rioting outside the Museum of Freedom, but got bored, so I ran inside with some bullets flying into my well-toned buttocks. Inside, I increased my sneaking ability since I won't be the one doing the heavy lifting. Might as well get comfortable under the shade. I sat there, unmoving, like a desk lamp, for about more than my patience could handle. I watched Preston do a reverse impress on me with his display of marksmanship. It was a telltale sign of the impending troubles. Had me wondering which one of us will truly be the one suffering during this challenge. Spoiler alert, it was me. My flawless plan and its execution got interrupted when a raider caught whiff of my cologne. Since Preston wasn't ready yet to carry his own weight, I left the museum to get some help because I wasn't allowed to get my own paws dirty. Two mosquitoes were enough to kick my new buddy's fuzzy butt. I won't lie, things weren't looking good. Back in museum, I waited for what felt like an eternity for Doc Me to kill all the enemies. Some of his attacks are designed to stun the enemy instead of doing damage, and sometimes he just disappears somewhere and I had no idea what he was doing. My dog disappeared. But raiders were dying. All I had to do was wait. Yeah, it was pure torture. <laughs> Eventually, I made it to Preston and his gaggle of stupids, and with a brief conversation, I was sent outside to deal with the raiders situation. But unbeknown to Garvey, he was already working for me. While Preston was busy missing the shots on the raiders, I lured the wannabe mini Godzilla out of its thinking hole and let it tag team the raiders together with the commonwealth savior. After Yoshi had its fun with the raiders, I kept playing hooky, dancing around the car, keeping its attention on me, while Preston missed 90% of the shots on the barnsides target. Roughly a millennium later, my horny buddy got diagnosed with death. All right, Preston. Drag your flock to sanctuary, thanks. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. As per request from my new muscle, I tried convincing Tempines Bluffs folk to join the Minutemen, but they politely declined. I'm not sure what happened. With my chores and errands done, Preston made me his general. I'll be right beside you all the way. 
General, I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. And I made him my soldier. His pockets were filled with the best gear I got. And I was off to get Paladin Dance's gun for my new lolcher. Along the way, I flirted with the Draskan for steam packs, extorted money from Wolfgang, tried to get Preston to attack him, to see if it would work. It didn't. He got to walk alive in the end. His choice had some unexpected consequences later. Next, I spectated a group of mole rats take bites out of Preston for fun, discovered the butthole of the commonwealth for experience, and watched Garvey trying his best to help Paladin dance with his best problems. I stole what supplies I could find inside the station, because I needed it more than I cared how much they needed them, and set off for Arcjet with dance. Traveling to Arcjet was fairly easy, yeah. and having two companions at the same time was nice. Wow, what a throw! But it was at this moment that I realized that unless I do damage to an enemy, I'm not getting any experience from the defeated enemies. Instead, I would be hacking, lockpicking, disarming traps, discovering places, and doing quests for experience. So picking my perks carefully is what I should do, as I'm not getting too many of them. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Oh, don't you worry. I won't be shooting. Arcjet was a dance in the plan. <laughs> Probably the easiest job I'd get to do during this challenge. I even got to enjoy watching dance fight off an endless supply of androids. It was pretty great time all around. After getting bored, I flicked a switch to change the channel. After turning everything in the room into what resembled melted ice cream, I picked all the toy guns from the toy soldiers. Dance, honey, can you flick off? I'm not leaving any of my stuff behind. Rescued the deep range beacon in distress, told Preston to secure our escape route, and once outside, I appropriated Dance's gun. I'm not entirely sure if followers can use critical attacks. I imagine they can't, which would have made this trip worthless if I didn't find a lifetime supply of fusion cells for Preston. Oh no! Are birds real? I had to make two trips to Sanctuary just to haul over all the garbage I found inside Arcjet. I don't know what to tell you. You never know when you need all this crap. On my way to Diamond City, I tried seeking Preston on some bridge trolls. On him. It worked pretty well. I thought this challenge wouldn't be that bad. How wrong I was. Diamond City guards were locked in combat with some Shrek people. I of course decided to meddle in their business. Wow. You nailed that! Preston tried sniping our adversaries from afar with a minigun. Did you know the companion AI is actually awful? With all that ruckus now behind me, I found Piper screaming some nonsense into a speaker. I waited it out, ignored the commotion after, and went straight for the defective agency. There was money to be extorted. I had to make Preston wait outside in the rain, because he doesn't like it if I ask to get paid for the work I do. I demanded all the money from Ellie that I could, witnessed a family dispute on my way out, they should really keep this things inside. Oh. After increasing the swag factor of my bodyguard, Heck yeah. I was off to rescue Mr. Gadget. Just outside the big green field, I got chased around by a puppy. Help. <laughs> I spectated Garvey getting torn to shreds by some more puppers, and later got assaulted by ghouls. Oh, where's my Preston right now? Rest of the way toward Park Street Station went without a hitch. My knight in dirty armor made quick work of the triggered welcoming committee. I sicked him on the next group and watched. Almost reached the ward and noticed Preston had ditched me. I went back to pick him up and drag him by his ear, and spectated him gunning down more tunnel dogs guarding the ward door. We crossed the threshold, and you better believe it, our introductions to the mole people were far from over. Um, where'd you go? Yeah, I wonder. I tried ordering Preston to start sniping Dino, but of course, that didn't work. If the enemy isn't already hostile, my companion is only willing to look at them. I rescued Nick from the shelter, thought it was awesome to have two companions again. Tried pacifying an enemy to see what my companions would do. Wow, that was kinda useful. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Whew. There we are. No worries, he's 80% no lockpick. Remember that time when I said having two companions is cool? Yeah, that was wild. While Nick and I battled our way outside, Preston was nowhere to be seen. He does that a lot. I did find a magazine I haven't seen before, so it wasn't all bad. Rest of the way wasn't too difficult. I sweet talked Skinny Malone into letting us and his girlfriend go. And then ordered Preston to put an end to his condensed milk stealing days. After that, Preston wanted to talk about his feelings. Sure. Go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. You had no problem making me shoulder your problems and calling me a general, though. We are the good guys. Yeah, we are. We probably better get back to it. Yep. 
Back to looting! Back in Diamond City, I got paid for my work, had a talk with Nick, we became friends. He convinced me to get a key from the mayor, and we broke into an abandoned home as a prank. After stealing everything that wasn't nailed down, I showed Doc Meat a bunch of nothing, and we went for a run together. We had such a good time, looking at random trash. I made Doc Meat smell my fingers, and we prepared some rats for cooking. Doc Meat was being a big help again, by blocking the doorway. Oh boy, we are getting burgers tonight. Near Fort Hagen, I got tired of running. It was almost morning. Oh, he's so much cuter than you, Preston. I told Preston I'm replacing him with a dog, as a reminder how much I cared about him. Mm -hmm. Hi. Before leaving, Doc Mean found some toys nearby and showed them to me. He's such a good boy. I bumbled in Fort Hagen for breakfast. My progress slowed down once more. Preston was avoiding work again. Now I didn't want to make this about race. It's not a speedrun or anything, but I'd still like to get this done in a timely manner. Eventually, he did show up. He just used an alternative entrance. Good timing too. The toasters were cooking me alive. Down in the basement, Preston got his butt handed to him. Because he really wanted to see up close who were the guys trying to fry him from afar. I discovered that exiting the building sprang him back on his feet. And exploited that just this once. Hey, it worked! Because I forgot about it. To make up for lost time. <laughs> Preston worked hard rest of the way. Over here. Nice throw, Preston. And I scored me a new dress. Heck yeah. I found that healthy breakfast that had walked out on me that fateful morning. I tried to sweeten him up with words, but that wasn't a thing that can happen. Whatever happened to speech. In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again. I say that while running away. I had Preston chew him up as a reward for work well done. Get it, Preston! Five, six, seven, eight, who do we appreciate? Preston Corvey, Preston Corvey, go, 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 you got this dude! He should appreciate it. I don't often share my food. Keep your head down. He forgot he was in a fight. After Garvey was done with his breakfast, I picked the leftovers for pocket snacks and went for the roof, where I tried ordering Preston to start a civil war with the Brotherhood. On our way back to Diamond City, we got ambushed by bloat flies, and Preston picked the best weapon for the situation. Over <laughs> here. He tried to kill a boat fly with a freaking <laughs> I went back to relay my findings to Nick, watched mom and dad argue. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth, so... We totally could go all together, but... They can't travel together without fighting. Nick pointed me towards good neighbor, where we do friendly stuff together again. I mean, I assume, not like I have friends. On my way there, a familiar problem reared its ugly head. Um, Preston? Did he freaking ditch me? This is the part where I always get lost. I always go in thinking it's going to be all right and end up missing that one left turn. Later. Oh, freaking finally. I always get lost on my way here. That good neighbor, the unforeseen consequences of my past choices, stood before me. Wolfgang! Thank you, Preston. I've never left them alive before, so I didn't know they would end up here. Then Preston had some feelings to share again. Can I make a challenge out of this? Kill all your opponents with Reflect. Let me know down in the comments below if you think it's worth a try. I met with Nick at Memory Den. We convinced Dr. Not Really to let us use her weird TV parts to inspect the molecular structure of a healthy breakfast using my pocket snacks. Why, Doc, this is so boring! On my way out, Nick imitated a dead man. I should have killed you when you were on ice. That is classic him. He's such a kidder. I fixed and brought my power armor along for the ride. Checked my next destination on my pip boy. Fast travel to Diamond City. Pity cat. What a good day this turned out to be. And I was off to find Shrek's stinky hole in the glowing sea. Oh wow. Regret, regret! The glowing sea was one of the unfriendliest neighborhoods you could find yourself in. The dead claws chasing me helped bring this conclusion to life. <laughs> I met with weird cultists who only bathed in sewage, sneaked by Shrek's bouncer, invaded his privacy, and stole his tin cans. With my needs satisfied, I left his casa to find me a courser, whose day I was going to ruin next. I traveled to CIT ruins, 
and started to play hot and cold using my pip boy. <coughs> Upon entering green tech whatever, I desecrated a corpse for its stuff, dressed up Preston, and we started to make our way to the top. This place was a massive pain in the outlet. Trying to have Preston do anything was such a chore, and I got pooped on the nose by a missile. Garvey kept doing his disappearing acts. This fight took forever, we got cooked by molotovs on multiple occasions, and I was about to lose my marbles, but a gunner dying to their own traps cheered me up. <laughs> After suffering for ages, I eventually made it to the Corsa, and just when he was about to start crap with me, you. Come here. Preston was once again missing. While well, Preston kept the butt busy, I opened the door to the gynoid and kept reviving my gun over and over while sipping tea. At some point, Garvey got hit in the head. He forgot he was in combat. The lady android decided to run out for no adequately explored reasons and got powered down. Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to ditch me again? Preston's been splattered all over the place. Oh no. After growing old, Preston finally turned off the Corsair. Finally. I spent more than an hour in this stupid green building. I tried instigating Preston against the hostages, but he has a strange problem with killing things that are not aggressive. I ripped a chip from the toaster's dome and went outside for some fresh prints of Bel Air. On my way to the railroad, I stopped to marvel at nature with my wordless companion, sneaked past some super mutants, <laughs> inspected a boxing gym I've never seen before. <laughs> Battled some ghouls inside a church. Preston? Preston, please! Help me! Thank you! <laughs> what do I even pay you for? And got my chip decoded by the railroad. It's shaking. He must be going ham on it. Back at Shrek's cave, I threatened him to give me the key to institute, or I'd mess with his stuff again. Before leaving, Preston wanted to talk about his feelings, and sneakily slid in another settlement quest. On sanctuary grounds, I had a talk with the resident mechanic. Turges seems like the kind of guy who could fix your car, or maybe your air conditioner, but not build a teleporter. With logic out the window, I primed my key to advance the plot. I made it as comfortable for him as possible. After mailing myself to the institute, I had a good talk with this old dude that had a screaming child in a cage. Why are rich old people like this? We discussed which faction to pick to finish the game. This is where I freaked up. The obvious choice would have been to choose the Minutemen, but I wanted to see if Preston would follow me to the end. If I sided with these guys instead, I prefer them. At least they can clean. After agreeing to work with the Institute, I poked around the facility to meet some new faces. Agreed to meet up with a Corsa to start trouble, needing the experience, took the scenic route to discover new places. No! And stopped to admire a sleeping wordy bird. Crap baskets! <laughs> what the freak is going on? There's an assault run fighting the Brotherhood of Steel. This place is never peaceful. It took me 20 minutes to complete the mission, to find the missing Raideroid. The raider with the fat man made me meet my ancestors a couple of times. And of course the Corsa didn't help much. Yup, impressive. It was awful. The battle for Bunker Hill loomed over the horizon. I skipped over to the scene, got sassed by a robot. I ran around the battlefield ignoring everyone, because feeding them to Preston doesn't give me any experience. Watching my worthless backup not help me survive this situation any faster gave me such a headache. Either that, or it was the hangover. My next job was to meet up with the old dude. On top of the CIT ruins, I ran through the building, ignoring the mutants the best I could. This loser dragged me out here just to tell me this is his first time outside. Brilliant! Back at the institute, I sat through a boring meeting, agreed to help insert name here retrieve something from Mass Fusion, and here is where I lost all hope. This is where the challenge stopped. Preston ain't here, and I'm certainly not doing this with only a scrawny scientist in tow. Nah, but don't you worry, it was only a temporal issue. I went back in time to the point where I just decoded the cause of chip, because there's no way in heck I'm talking to Desdemona again. I have nothing against her, I just despise her guts. I graced Diamond City with my presence, went to do an interview with Piper to get a taste of that easy experience pie. Couldn't do it for some reason. I helped make a wish kid unclog his toilet and began the Minutemen quests. First up, Starlight Drive-In. I didn't have what I needed to build a beacon, 
tried scrapping everything in sight, wasting a lot of time, ended up turning mana into a supply line, and managed to erect that stupid beacon in the end. Hehe, <laughs> erect. For my next trick, I helped the settlement with the raider problem. Reston worked hard to release a clothing store from the tight grip of the raiders. <laughs> I really like these glasses. And I returned back to inform the client of a job well done. I turned the lady into a supply line, improved the place a bit, and was off to help more people. Get the freak up, I want to help you. I went ahead and got all the cools inside National got something of his cooked. I don't think this guy is okay. I've been trying to trick him into attacking us for a while now. Heads up. Pointed. Drop him. Oh, <laughs> I fell down. Found a dead Brotherhood soldier inside and used his stuff to reinforce my next supply line. Another settlement rescued from the shelter. Preston told me about taking over the castle and ditched me again. I dropped some water and defenses on the ground before leaving for the Minutemen meetup. I wasn't entirely happy about trying to make it across the commonwealth on my own. I had all sorts of creatures chase me and stirred many beehives on the way. According to my instructions, a firing line was formed outside the castle and I would lure the infesting Maya lurks over to them, which I did, one by one. The disposable still managed to die, which was a little surprising, considering how confident they were about this job. I spent around 20 minutes just watching Preston and the radio guy getting manhandled by the crustaceans with attitudes. It wasn't too bad, just took a lot of time. For the next part of the story to trigger, I needed to wait 3 days. In order to pass the time, I went to help another settlement. Building stuff and completing quests gives me experience after all. At Abenati, I was told to pick up a missing locket from the lost and found. I traveled to USAF satellite, raiders there were low level and easy. Preston tore through them like a chainsaw through marshmallow, only hiccup was his obvious brain trauma. And like so, another settlement was acquired. Rest of the time was spent on settlement logistics and sleeping. After three days, Preston kindly informed me that the folks over at the castle can't get anything done without me. So we ventured to the fortress of incompetence, talked to a lady with attitude. I like her. We needed to get to an armory, but the way was shut. Can't go through, go around. I shoveled a lot of dirt because I don't get to have help and began leading my team through some tunnels. <laughs> uh, good job. Our mission was abruptly halted by a sentry bot. Oh, crap baskets. Where exactly did Preston go this time? There's a freaking sentry bot. Oh, thank you. Thank you for showing hey. up. I had to lead our resident Houdini by the nose just to get him to do his job. <laughs> All right then. After 10 minutes of watching the story display of skill by the two Minutemen, the fight was over and I wasn't too disappointed. I've come to expect this. Finally. We made our way to the armory, I stole everything, built a cannon on the fortress wall and made Preston stand in the splash zone while testing it. <laughs> I just see he laughed at. Okay, dude. He then proceeded to give me a compliment and a love confession. We got him, folks. And I tied the knot to make sure he hopefully now never leaves my side. I went to the institute again and told them to piss off. For the next part, I had to recruit more settlements before I could advance the plot. The first mission was to rescue a kidnapped son. I used my husband as a bait for the super dogs. Inside the operation zone, Preston quickly turned the raiders into hashtags. Then he Michael Myers himself off somewhere again, and I had to sneak the hostage out of the building. Between missions, I improved the settlement and strengthened the castle's defenses. For my next quest, I set off towards Nordhagen Beach, ignored some puppers on the way, and a merry group of super mutants waved to me as I passed them by. Mm -hmm. I discovered some kind of racist place, where an unidentified loony was screaming at the empty track. This race is Found myself speedily ski daddling on out of there. I have enough grace to deal with as is. The settlers over at Nordhagen told me about an empty lot with great potential as a new settlement. They sent me across the map to Sunshine Tidings Co-op. How they discovered that place is beyond me. On my way there, I discovered a ragtag group of bridge trolls asking unfortunate passerby for tolls. I showed them my frag mines, and turns out that was enough to make them happy. Super mutants, can I make them fight these guys? I think the answer is yes. Whoa! Oh my dog, do you think they're okay? Upon reaching the operation zone, I hacked the resident zone down to Mr. Handy to help police the locals, and with the help of my companions, settled down the squatters. 
didn't see nothing. With my mission complete, I reported back to my client. After that, I got a word of a castle that needed help. Rushing over, I built whatever defenses I could. Then everything changed when the Institute attacked. I tried my best to stay out of harm's way, but my side was wiped clean pretty fast. I tried to get through the battle just by waiting it out, but my immortal soldiers fell down as soon as they got up. I had to try again. For round 2, I closed off all the other entrances and tried funneling them to a single point. It was a massive improvement. Every time an android was defeated, I'd rush over to yoink its stuff and hand it over to the closest ally between waves to strengthen my pawns. If I didn't grab the stuff from the defeated foes as fast as possible, the bodies would disappear conveniently. So I was really busy doing this. At least it didn't get boring. Only immediately. My guys couldn't keep their heads out of the firing line, even if their lives depended on it, which it kinda did. Then an android suddenly phased through a concrete wall and damaged the generator. I attempted to fix it, but was sent back in time instead. What? Preparing for round 3, I secured other entry points again, laid down tons of barriers on the walls to prevent my guys from handing out their lives for free, and littered the ground nearby with mines. That's how serious I was. Kinda regretted selling most of my mines up to these points. They'd be really handy here. If you think using mines goes against this challenge, let me know in the comments. I made the turrets look at the entry point in a more menacing manner, without knowing if it's actually more effective, but I'm counting on the psychological damage. This time around, I ward off my generators, hoping that this would spare me some effort later down the line. Then I cleared Sunshine Tidings co-op again. I handed out my best gear to the defenders, picked up a magazine I previously missed, untangled some idiots by removing a stupid filter, and ward off the high ground so the intruders couldn't use it. My turret lineup was really effective in the beginning. I tried to grab the gear faster than the bodies could be picked up by the wind, and kept handing out more gear. My dogs still tried to get killed before the enemy even made it to the fort, so I had to try and build railings and baby gates for them. It wasn't too fun. In the end, my guys got themselves off thanks to their lack of self-preservation, so I just kept hiding on the high ground, and after eating for 10 minutes, Preston was avoiding work again. Ricking Preston back into the fight wasn't easy, but eventually I managed to do it, and I waited inside the fort instead, eating and watching videos for another 10 minutes. <laughs> I think I could've just done this instead of trying again, but this time I did give my guys better armor, but who knows. It was time to take the fight to the institute. I needed to run through some sewers to install a device that would open the gates for my team to flood the institute. Of course, with this plan, most things didn't work the way I wanted. First problem? Preston was avoiding work again. I had to run alone to the sewers, through them and into the institute. It wasn't fun or easy, most of my stealth boys were used just to get to the other end. After punching the terminal, I got my team teleported in, and boy was I happy to see four people. Preston handed me an explosive device, and my task as the general was to run in the middle of the enemy base and attach it to their reactor. How do I keep getting the short stick? It's the first fight, and we already lost the guy. These guys are so disappointing. Ignoring all the androids, I zoomed through the first area as fast as I could. In the second area, I got a little lost, but passing by all the bots was still an option. The third area was a massive pain in the behind. I had to wait a billion years for Preston to power down the droids. At least he was still around, unlike the other two expendables. I took the elevator up, Hello. used the old dude's terminal, Reactor. see you next time and wore down the floor in the reactor room in my confusion. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I kept trying to install the bomb, but I guess I got it the first time. And I just had to wait it out until Joel just figured I had enough burnt skin. And he teleported me out. From there, I picked up a free kit on my way out. Nice, a free drudge. Talk to Preston. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up and smoke, just hit that button. I knew you were a bad guy in the end. <laughs> Just FYI, you can't make Preston click the button. Boo. Hit the trigger, and this was how Preston saved the commonwealth. Uh, sort of. Brutal. And that's it for this time, folks. I hope you had fun, I know I didn't. Do the engagement things to help me out. Tell me in the comments what I could have done better, or if you have other challenges games for me to play. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care now, bye bye then.